Hi everyone, it's Alex from The Gaming Guys, and I'm here to talk you through the Jedi Starting Grounds and the first impressions that I have about this game and to talk about the game mechanics and how they relate to other MMOs and such. So, to start things off, I would like to talk about the backstory to the Jedi Knight and on this prologue screen, which is very unique to this game, is that it can actually do this because it's a, such a famous trademark of the Star Wars series that they can easily just do this and give you a prologue without you know, much trouble. So, it talks about how the Jedi Order was obliterated on Coruscant, the Jedi Temple. For those of you who don't know, it's the main Jedi area. And actually, the Sith cinematic, when you choose to make a character there, it actually plays that operation and how it was destroyed. So I thought that was pretty cool. But, uh, they moved to the world of Tython. Uh, excuse me, and Tython is the main, well, old Jedi Temple world. And, uh, they choose to hide there and train their new Padawans there, the ones that they recruited and all the surviving Jedi are there and probably have become more prominent since others probably higher them have died and gone away. So the Jedi are now in Tython and now the huge threat, the huge threat, sorry, excuse me, is uh, actually from flesh eaters that are becoming a huge nuisance right then and there. And the Flesh Eaters are unfortunately just, uh, well, warning, warning, this is spoilers, so if you don't want to hear anything else, just skip ahead a little bit into the video, because I'll be copying, I'll put an annotation, alright? And, uh, that'll be past all these spoiler parts. So, uh, spoilers, ready? Okay. So, the Flesh Eaters, right now, I've been playing a little bit into the game, and right now, it hasn't exactly being that big of an issue, but you find out later that the Flesh Eaters are actually under the control of a Sith Lord. Oh god, the name the name escapes me, but it's uh, pretty bad. And this Sith Lord has trained even other Jedi, well not Jedi, but other people to become uh, prominent and to really just go against the Jedi. And these Flesh Eaters, you'll see them in a little bit, are a huge problem. So that's the main story, that's how, I've, how far I've gotten this weekend beta. And it's very interesting. It's a, it's a main storyline, so it's very different. And I really am a huge fan of that. And it's a really big thing. Now, you'll see coming up is that the new dialogue options. And this is by far one of the coolest things in this entire game. The thing that gives it its uniqueness. And I really can't think anything less of it. Because you can see there's the little dial, like in Mass Effect, the options that they give you. And the top is good, all the way on the bottom is evil, and sometimes you don't even know. You, you, can, you don't even know the difference, whether it's good or evil. And so you have to make up your own decision. Like you'll see later in the Sith campaign, there are very few good options you can choose. <laughs> um, but yeah, the dialogue is amazing. Like, it's, it's very impressive compared to an MMO. Because MMO is usually, like, I mean, I hate to compare it to WoW, but WoW is the major competitor to this obviously since it's so big and it's so many million subscribers and it's such a big deal because WoW does not have that at all and no matter what it just you know it's the same it's 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 it doesn't really give it that edge and so Star Wars does have this edge over WoW and I'll say that that's the biggest thing because it is by far the one of the best features, other than the combat, which I'll talk about right now, actually. The combat is, uh, very, very similar to WoW. It's, it's, I mean, I hate to compete comparing to WoW, but it is the, it is the main game that there, all these other MMOs are trying to compete to, and so far, none of the other MMOs have really hugely succeeded, unfortunately, because there are some other great ones out there, and the combat system, you'll see me fighting in a bit, and, uh, Right now I'm on a speeder, and the speeder is the sort of system to get around. And it's a lot faster than the WoW one, which is the, uh, uh what's it called? It's uh, the Griffin. Yeah, the Griffin. It's a lot faster than the Griffin, so you obviously get there faster. It's not such a big deal. So the combat system is, you can see the bar on the bottom, and that's very obviously similar to WoW, as they can have your spells down there and such. But instead of mana, the Jedi, well, each different class has its own unique sort of way to deal with energy. Uh, the Jedi have force, have force power, and uh, I'm sorry, not force power, focus. That's what it, it's called, focus. And so many, you know, each force ability costs so many focus. And uh, the focus levels up with you, obviously. 
So you don't have to. So you aren't. It isn't like Skyrim where you choose whether health or mana or whichever one you want to go, you know, with uh, which one you prefer. Um, but it's very similar to WoW, but it's very unique to the combat moves. The combat moves with WoW are so dull and boring. I really just didn't like it at all. Well, with this, you can have force abilities and such, and it's really, it's very cool how you can, these, they actually put in the stop motion animation for the different lightsaber techniques, and I thought that was amazing how they put in that much effort for it. Also, the hologram communications, you guys will see that at the very end of this video, there's a little notification that comes at the bottom. That little, that really just moves along the story in a really nice way. So you don't have to go back to your main quest giver and deal with that at all. You can just enjoy yourself and to... Yeah, see, there's the icon right there, and I didn't realize it until I was like, oh, what? And then I was like, oh, okay, so I'll run away and just go back into cover. And it's a great way to move the story along, and it's really it's really cool and I really enjoy it a lot so uh, those are my first impressions of the the Star Wars the Old Republic MMO and uh, it's got great dialogue it's got very unique to combat even though the combat system the bar on the bottom is very similar to WoW so I just want to remind you guys to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you guys next time